One of the more popular shows on the network is our X's and O's basketball show called Full Court Press. On FCP, Andrea Lloyd and Fred Langley provide fans in the conference an inside look at how teams in their conference achieve success on the court. Take it away, Fred. What they've told Chad, Chad's undersized, so Chad is supposed to get around and he's supposed to front the post and make them throw that pass over the top. Okay, so Chad's doing great right now. Timmy says, little man, get off me. <laughs> Sits down the post and now Timmy's telling everybody, clear out, I got a little one on me. Ice. Here we go. Ice. Steve's not happy right now. Now watch this. Watch, watch coach right over here, uh, AJ. Go ahead and get in there. I'm tired of watching that. The play continues, though. And don't think Chad doesn't see he's getting subbed out for. Chad's got to make something happen. Now, look, Timmy's coming up here in the garden because he knows that Chad can shoot the ball. So that changes the complexion of the offense for New Mexico. Now you're going to see a little bit of a broken play, penetration, loose ball. But watch what Chad can do. Chad can knock that three ball down. So the moral to the story, he gave up two down there on that side, but he got three on the other and side. And as he's running by Coach Alford, he's like, I I'm, got this. I'm good. I got this. Full Court Press debuts Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Join the crew this week for the reasons behind all of those upsets in conference play. There also will be a That's What I'm Talking About segment, and here's a taste. That's what I'm talking about. How about last night's game? He goes against the ball, and he's going to try to save that ball, but people didn't see this. Philip McDonald was kind of in the way. He got teed up for this, Jamal Franklin did, and that is why. To the face. In to the, the face. face. In the face. In the face. <laughs> but you know what, Fred? He is playing through the whistle. He didn't do that with the intent to hurt Philip McDonald. He did that with the intent to save that ball. In the, in the face. face. <laughs> That's it for Full Court Press, my man. Our fifth and final story is actually a first for this show. We're breaking news, people. Uh, not really. In an upcoming edition of Women's Basketball Weekly, show host Marius Payton will take on analyst Abby Wainer, a little game of one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, that's where things are not really true. But it is the premise behind a long-standing joke on that show that comes up in every weekly on-court segment with Abby. The two verbally go back and forth, and that sometimes results in a little extracurricular activity. Take a look. Just Marius, Abby, and a basketball. Classic. A new edition of Women's Basketball Weekly debuts Thursday nights on the mountain at 8.30. This week, the crew talks about the final week of conference play. They also delve into a little Title IX talk. Now, even though there's really no doubt who would win on the court because Abby is awesome, we did ask Marty Fletcher anyway. We said, hey, coach, could you break down Wayner versus Peyton? When you talk about Marius Peyton, he is terrific, taking the ball to the basket. We know about Abby's defensive deficiencies, uh, but when you talk when you talk about defending Morris, a lot of people call him self-check. You don't have to cover him. I don't think that's the case. Coach, I'm right. It's really going to come. I oh, sorry, Morris. It's really going to Morris. It's okay. No. If you're going to talk bad about me. At least no, let me leave. Let me finish my, my my breakdown now. When you okay, Morris, go ahead. Let me t let me let me. It depends on how. We have the whistle. Is it going to be called tight? If it's not called tight, Marius, much more physical. Abby's had some, uh, you know, some injuries. So I'm going to go in a terrific game, but I'm going to pick Super Mar for the W. Yes! That's our show for this week, and I will leave you with this. A letter from Marks from Fullerton, California. He writes, Frank, I must say I find your television show very educational. The minute somebody turns it on, I go to the library and read a book. See you next week.